pancakes i'm using a recipe for buttermilk pancakes for two this is the website i have my dry ingredients so now i'm going to whisk together the wet ingredients so yeah good morning welcome to the video Lonely, you're the reason why i can feel those butterflies when i go to sleep at night Finally know the reason why, yeah. I'm never really satisfied, yeah. Looking up a paradise, yeah. Without you by my side. Imagine I walk through your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Cause you, you really make me wanna fight. Cross my heart and hope to die. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. So we just finished breakfast. I just got dressed and ready, and now we're gonna head out and run a bunch of errands. The first thing I really need though is coffee. Uh, we had a very late night, so I am very looking forward to getting a nice coffee. The main things we wanna do today is we want to drop off some things at Goodwill. We're gonna go check out some rugs, pick up some office supplies, and then we're going grocery shopping. So I think those are all of the errands we have to run, but we just wanna get them out of the way. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing in the morning. A gorgeous Monday morning and I just went to pick up my chest x-ray results if you watched my last video then you know that I tested positive for the man 2 test so there was the scare that I had active tuberculosis bacteria in my lungs so I ended up having to do a chest x-ray and it's funny because after I posted that video I got a comment from Re clarifying that all babies born in China get this vaccine that basically makes it so that they always test positive if they do that skin test so that's something i didn't know and the person who administered my test probably also didn't know or they didn't tell me thank you for clarifying that read that's so helpful that you knew that i'm kind of surprised no one told me but that's okay i ended up getting the chest x-ray and everything was normal so that's nice that i got um that info done Today I'm going to be crossing one more thing off of the things I need to do before medical school starts. This afternoon I'm taking a basic life support course, which is going to be four hours long. So that's going to take a fair chunk of my day. I still need to get some work done for the lab because I have a presentation tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. But I just want to say welcome to today's video. Excited to see what this week brings um, and still waiting to hear back about the apartment. I feel like I look tan. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, I can forward the tenant insurance to you. Yeah? Yeah. Or just, yeah, Perfect. when would you, yeah, I'll try and, yeah, because I need to update it probably first and then I'll, I can give it to you. So is she going to send us the lease details? Hopefully. Okay. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. No. Okay. Let's film this authentic conversation. So, your head is blocking my head. So, the email that she's going to send us with all the details, is that, is that, 
lease house is going to be in it? Do we have to go sign it in person? I don't think we have to sign it in person. We have two options for the damage deposit. I know we can get a bank draft in person, or apparently there's like this rent moolah online thing. Something okay. online might be good. Okay. Yeah, and we could probably just go 50 50 on the damage yes. deposit. Yes, of course. Oh, this is so exciting. It's happening. Oh my god. We I, can start fantasizing for real I know. now. <laughs> fine. We got the department. We got the apartment. <laughs> So we got the apartment. I literally walked in on Justin making that call. So such good news to come home to. We celebrated with some bubble tea from this new place that opened up near where we're living right now. It's so good. Honestly, this is such a mood. It's raining outside. I'm listening to Taylor Swift. I'm driving home because the basic life support course ended three hours early which was a very pleasant surprise. So I'm gonna go home and try to get some work done. So the basic life support course ended early. So now I'm having dinner. We got some leftover chili and a grilled cheese, which doesn't look very grilled, but it is very cheesy. So this is the finished product. Um, this is an art print that I ordered off of Etsy for Justin's early birthday gift because um, we're hoping to hang this up in our new apartment. It's just a map of Melbourne, which is the first city that we travel to together. Very cute. And what other exciting news <laughs> do we have? Well, we just signed the release. Oh hey! my God. Super exciting. So, so exciting. Yes, yeah, so we are moving so. in. We are moving in June 26th. On June 26th. And I start medical school on July 6th. So a lot of things are happening. That's the apartment update. Hello everyone. So we are ending off this vlog the same way we started it in the car. I am just about to head out now because I'm going to be doing a socially distant picnic with my friends. I'm so excited to see them. This is going to be my first time seeing everyone in person since the start of quarantine. I made myself a delightful dinner. I have some coconut rice, some sauteed mushrooms. I have some sesame garlic tofu and then some fresh avocado on top. I'm super excited to eat this. Did I put a spoon for this? Okay, I totally did. <laughs> okay, I did bring a spoon. And yesterday I also did some baking. So I made some Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookies that I'm very excited to share with my friends. They're super thick, they're so good. I thought I would just end off today's video here and give you guys a little bit of a general life update. We just got the lease signed and we're finishing up the paperwork on the apartment. We are going to be moving in at the end of June and my medical school classes are starting at the beginning of July. That will give us enough time to get everything moved in and to get adjusted to the place. And some of you guys have also been asking about whether or not medical school classes are gonna be moved online. As of what we know right now, we're going to start off um, doing everything online. First week of orientation will be online, and from what I can discern, the first few classes will be online as well until we get the option of having in-person classes, and then hopefully we will be transitioning to small groups. So that's what we know right now, just based on the current situation, but of course things can change. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. So many exciting things happening, so I'm so excited to share with you. I am going to to get going now and see you in my next video. Bye!